Good morning. So, advice on uh, teaching privates in uh, private students, that is, in Japan. Regarding to kids, if you've got if you've got young kids, uh, usually you get, uh, like I said, they'll stay for one or two years. So it's a good idea to instill into the mom early on that it's best to always continue teaching the kids, you know, all the way up as long as they can. Because they tend to drift after one year, two years, they meet a new mate at school and they go to their mate's class. That's all it is. It's very friendly. So get sunk into the mum's head that if they stop after one year, all the money will be wasted. Because they will forget everything they have learnt. The pronunciation, questions, answers, whatever, all the vocabulary, they will forget it. So just get into the mum's head early on to keep on studying and just by saying if the kid studies for six seven eight years you know they will be speaking English or they should be after that amount of time and if you can get them from like six until 16 you know they will be uh, like they will be should be pretty fluent after all that time uh, so like I said so drill that into the mom's head that you know don't drop out after one or two years you know despite the kids pro the protest that she wants to go and to do hula hoop dancing with her mates or whatever so like try to take control say it's a waste of money and it will be so uh, so try to get that into the heads and you can have a student for a long time also it would be very pleasurable for you if you could have a student over such a long time they'll become your, you know they'll be all they'll become your friends and you can take pride in having taught like a kid english okay so uh, good luck with that bye bye Please subscribe, share, look at all the other videos, lots of them, funny ones as well, info on Japan. Bye-bye.